What's a cringe-inducing memory from your childhood? When I was 16 I got set up with a family friend's daughter. We started dating in a long-distance relationship. After a month or so it was school holidays and I went up to visit her. I didn't have a lot of money but I wanted to buy her a gift. I settled on a beautiful jigsaw puzzle. She wasn't too happy about the gift. Because she was blind. Yes I bought my blind girlfriend a jigsaw puzzle. In the moment it seemed very appropriate because each piece was unique right? She can feel the pieces rights? Pure cringe. It still haunts me. This was in school. We were playing a game where one person chased everyone else, and when they touched you, you had to go to jail. That meant, you had to put your arms inside the torso part of your sweater, and the sleeves got tied around a pole. You had to get loose to be free again, either on your own or by the help of someone else. I think I was about 11 at the time. I got caught and tied to a pole, but I was wearing a hoodie with a zipper, so I felt incredibly smart when I unzipped it from the inside and ran away shouting ha. Thing is, I had forgotten to put on a t-shirt under the hoodie, and I was an early bloomer, so I basically showed the whole schoolyard my recently grown tits. Shudder. The time my internet access was shot over a weekend, so I went to work as usual on Monday, and stayed and worked all day and only found out I'd been fired the week before when I got home. Small, very high-profile business. Everyone was acting weird all day. I soft broil myself to sleep in this memory. I, a very white child living in a very white neighborhood, had a deaf black foster sister. She went to a school for the deaf and all the friends she made there happened to also be black, and, you know, deaf. So in my young life, Every black person I met was deaf and spoke only using sign language. I screamed the first time a black person spoke out loud to me and went, You can talk? I was 15, wearing lingerie I found in my mom's cupboard, don't judge me, I was 15, lathered in baby oil and going at it with a double-handed grip. I used to sleep with heavy metal on so I've got music going and don't hear my old man come in. He made it all the way to my bed before I noticed him. Stopping dead and pulling up the covers. What are you doing? Uh, scratching my ass dad. What time is it? Go to sleep. We have never mentioned it since. <laughs> Farted in class during a test back in middle school. Everybody knew it was me but I was too awkward to confirm or deny it so I just acted oblivious. That fart must have been pretty awful because a bunch of classmates around me covered their noses with their shirts and the teacher cracked open a window. Just the complete awkward silence that followed the fart and the feeling of everybody staring at me in disgust still makes me shudder with cringe whenever I think about it. We weren't allowed to sleep with our doors shut. I woke up earlier than everyone else most days and on this day decided to rub one out before everyone woke up. Grabbed the lotion, put it under my second pillow all smooth like so no one would see it if they walked by. About halfway through the deed my aunt rips her door open which is positioned about 15 feet directly across the hall from my room and perfect view to my bed. I was so scared that I literally sat straight up. One hand under the covers. She saw me and goes, hey? And starts walking over. I sat there frozen, like I saw a bus speeding directly at me but I couldn't move, junk still in hand. She comes in my room and goes what's going on sweetie, are you okay? I just awkwardly say yeah, you just scared me. She laughs and sits on the bed next to me directly on the pillow and hears a crunch. Looks at me, stands up and picks up the pillow, looks back at me and starts walking out. She didn't even turn back to look at me, just grabs the door to shut it and says, I think you're old enough to sleep with is closed now. I didn't leave my room all day. I fell asleep in my high school history class, I was all the way in the back of the room so the teacher never noticed. Until I farted in my sleep so loud that it woke me up and my head shot up and smacked against the back wall. Never heard the end of it. At the time nobody really reacted. Except the guy in front of me, he was just kind of shaking. He turned around to look at me and was laughing so hard he was crying. Also I should mention my crush was two seats over. So my mom had won this prize at a big shopping center. She was allowed to take three guests for a day of shopping that included gift cards at various stores and a $250 gift card at a restaurant of her choice for us to eat at. Anyways, it was a big deal and they had a film crew come and tape some of it for their website. The reporter lady comes up to me when the food arrives and she's like that looks fantastic, what did you get? And I was caught off guard so I look at the camera and go gift cards. 
ultimate cringe and it took me about half a second to realize what she meant. When I think about it now at least I can laugh about it. Some context, my best friend growing up was black. We were inseparable, we wanted to make video games together when we grew up, all that. Well, he went with me and another member of my family to the store. As we were driving, a man nearly ran into my other family member's car, and my other family member shouted, effing and er. It got quiet in the car, then my other family member said to my best friend in the back, you're not the NR I was talking to, as a way to apologize. I was young, but even then I knew something awful had happened. It completely changed how I looked at my other family member and how my best friend looked at my family. We stayed friends but I had to hang out at his house since he stopped coming to mine. Couldn't blame him. Super cringy, life changing. This guy in one of my classes in 8th grade I was friendly with because he didn't seem to be good friends with anyone else in the class. He was a nice kid just maybe a little awkward but we had good conversations. Then one day at the end of the period we were both packing up our stuff and he says hey, do you want to go out with me next Wednesday? Wasn't interested in him that way, and I was so off guard that I froze like a deer in the headlights until I finally stammered uh, I think my mom has planned sorry bye. And basically ran out of the room. I still feel bad about it. Every time I saw him in middle school and high school after that I felt terrible. I was in my early 20s, had a girlfriend of 3 years and we were like 2 years into our relationship, and one time after we had sex I said, and I still don't know what possessed me to say this, god this is so embarrassing. I said, where are you gonna find Dong this good? It was so awkward. And I think about it like once a month because it is easily the dumbest thing I have ever said, and it makes me cringe so bad. Someone punched me in the face. Cr I was having a psychological evaluation for a military school. The psychologist gave me two pieces of paper to draw a male and a female and name them. The male one was easy, I just have to draw myself and use my own name. I was having difficulty drawing a female and couldn't think fast so my stupid ass drew the psychologist because she was cute. Then came the part where she started asking about the drawing, the male part went smoothly. When she asked about the name of the female I said actually it was you, plus a smirk, then she straight up wrote the name of the drawing actually it was you. I still cringe about it up to now. Went to the beach with three friends at some point in late middle school. We were swimming in the ocean and I got knocked down by a huge wave. When I stood up to face my friends, the boys started screaming. I looked down, and there was my left boob on full display. Threw that bathing suit out as soon as I got home. In elementary the little elementary playground and the older elementary playgrounds were right next to each other and there was an imaginary line we couldn't cross. Me and my friends had the hugest crush on the big kid that played soccer. I was so stupid. I shoved a dodgeball up my shirt and yelled hey, cute big kid, look you got me pregnant I have nightmares about it. Luckily he moved away. I used to go to a boarding school in India a couple years ago and annually they would take us out on these four to five day field trips. In a particular camping spot that we'd stopped at the bathrooms were really old. So after a six hour bus ride to the camp spot I'm taking a dump in the bottom half of the bathroom door literally just collapsed and literally everyone waiting in line saw me halfway in the process of shitting. There was also this one time in school where the teacher gave us a free lesson and my friend and I were bored and so we were thumb fighting and the teacher walks by and asked us what we're doing and I being the dumb idiot I replied, we're just practicing our fingering skills. My entire class looked at me weird but I didn't really understand the innuendo until 3 years later. When I was 13-14 I had this crush on a guy, I just thought he was hot. We were chatting on Snapchat and he told me he thought he liked this other girl, and I started to panic. I sent him a photo of me crying, because I was a socially incapable person and I thought that was the best move. He screenshotted it and sent it to two girls I hated, because I knew they thought I was weird. But now I see that was fair, and they all had a laugh over me crying. But this one was definitely on me, I was a weird kid. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.